All right, what's poppin' homies? My name is Joseph Kaleem, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the physics of the action sport known as freestyle trampoline. I'm gonna be showing different flips and different twists and how that all works, and hopefully be able to find my angular velocity uh, for both of those things. Uh, this is a sport I've been doing for the past two years. It's one of my life's greatest passions, so don't do it all, whatever I'm gonna show in this video. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a brief history and explanation of what the sport is through montage that I will show right now, so enjoy this. Freestyle trampoline is an up-and-coming sport that parallels the growth of skateboard decades ago. It's not like gymnastics in the sense that in freestyle trampoline there is no rigid structure or rules to follow in how tricks are accomplished. Everything is pretty much self-taught, making it an attractive passion for those who don't want to have to listen to a coach or depend on a time to earn success. It's a sport that's growing at a rapid rate due to the increasing amount of trampoline parks opening up all around the world. Okay, so hopefully that was enough of an explanation to understand what the sport actually is. And now we're gonna break down the video into two parts, one covering flips and the other one covering twists. And we're gonna find hopefully the angular velocity of one trick in each category. So in the first part of the flips category, we're gonna cover front flips, which is a trick that pretty much anyone and their grandma can do. But we're gonna be showing how singles, doubles, triples, and quads are performed on a trampoline. So let's get right into the example. For front flips, many people think that the key thing to do is to throw your chest towards the ground as fast as possible. Yet that's absolutely the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do. Great technique for a front flip involves setting upwards for the jump, then after having left the trampoline, throw your arms down and into your core, pulling your chest to your legs rather than your legs to your chest. The best analogy to describe a front flip is like getting into one of those roller coasters where you have to reach and pull the harness down to your chest. That is the motion of a front flip and is what generates all of the speed. It's the swinging of one arms from their head to pretty much their feet that creates rotation. So now let's try and calculate the angular velocity of a quadruple front flip. First, we can determine the change in degrees to 360 times 4, since 4 rotations occur. Now all we need is the time to complete these 4 spins, which if my timing is correct, for this very clip, it takes around 2.1 seconds. Meaning my angular velocity for a quadruple front flip is 11.968 pi radians every second, or 114.29 rpm, which is pretty darn tootin' fast if I do say so myself. Okay, cool. So now that we have an understanding of our front flip and have an example of an angular velocity, we're now going to try and do the exact same thing with the back flip, which is a harder trick for most people, but at its core, it is still basically the same physics, but just in the other direction. For back flips, the best thing to do is to not use your head. And by that, I don't mean don't think. I'm talking about physically not throwing your head backwards. A great back flip involves setting upwards and jumping almost straight up to then tuck in super tight to rotate a full 360 degrees. So now we're going to take a look at a double backflip and determine my angular velocity. The time it takes me to rotate 720 degrees, which is two flips, is 1.4 seconds, making my angular velocity for a double backflip 8.976 pi radians, or 85.71 rpm. And the final example we're going to look at in the flips category is side flips. We're going to show once again singles and doubles, and show how it's done where we're rotating over your shoulder instead of over your neck or over your chest. Side flips are one of the hardest flips to learn at first, yet are also one of the easiest to execute as you're able to spot the ground almost the entire duration of the flip. The key to side flips is once again setting upwards with your jump first, then tucking in super tight to one shoulder in order to create a sideways rotation. For my double, I rotated 720 degrees within 1.4 seconds, making my angular velocity the same as my double backflip, which is 8.976 pi radians a second, or 85.71 rpm. Okay, so now that we got flips out of the way, we're going to do twists now and show how that works and breaking down the core principles of how a twist works in one flip. We're not going to do two flips because that, that, I don't know how I'd calculate the math for that or even explain that. It's just too much. But yeah, one flip with up to four twists in both directions. So uh, yeah, let's get right into the example. In this clip, I'm performing 1260 degrees of rotation, which is three and a half spins within one front flip. The key to front twisting is having a lead arm that sets the flip, which for me is my left arm, and then a punching arm which wraps from my right side to my left shoulder, ultimately creating the twist. Then from there, it's simply hanging on for the right and hoping to land on your feet. So since it takes me about one and a half seconds to complete 1260 degrees of rotation, that would make the angular velocity of my twist to be 14.66 pi radians a second, or 140 RPM, which is super duper fast. For back twisting, it's the same concept, except you need to lean back to set the flip and then have that right punching arm wrapped to the same shoulder. This once again creates a super quick twist and allows for four rotations to be completed within one jump. For this quad full, it took me 1.7 seconds to do 1440 degrees of rotation, which means my angular velocity comes out to 14.784 pi radians a second, or 141.18 RPM. 
Now that we've covered both flips and twists, I'm gonna show a few more examples that involve both, um, but in different variations. So it's not just stuff off my feet, stuff off my back, off my stomach, off my side, stuff like that. And we're just gonna show a few more examples and talk about how they're done. Here are some kabooms, which are backflips off my back that utilize the kicking motion of my heels in order to catapult me into a flip. Pay close attention to the snapping motion of my legs, as that truly is what generates the rotation for the flip. These are Cody's, which are backflips off my stomach. They're like reverse kabooms, where my knees are actually what drive the flip, and it's the snapping of my legs into my chest that allows me to rotate quickly. Ultimately, in the end, all trampoline tricks involve the gathering of potential energy, either from throwing up high or throwing sideways into a twist and then wrapping really tight or holding into a tuck really really tight and that's what gap, turns that potential energy into kinetic energy really quickly and gives you that angular velocity either you know over your chest over your neck or horizontally um, on an axis like this if you know what i'm saying all right so thank you for paying attention to the whole video i hope you guys really learned something and maybe i'll go out and try some flips yourselves because this is a sport that realistically anyone can get into and physics proves that while skill and practice do play a key role in performing most of the tricks I've shown in the video, uh, at the end of the day, everyone is capable of performing these tricks. It's just a matter of determination and understanding how to use your body in a proper way. That pretty much wraps up everything I have to say for this video. If you have any questions about how to perform a certain trick or skill on the trampoline, don't be afraid to ask. My Instagram is jaclean. I make a ton of edits and do flips every day. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. Peace out.